Hello everyone. Today we'll take a look at the time value of money. Now let us say your bank has um, is offering you a 10% interest rate on any deposit. And let us say you choose to deposit $100 today. One year from now, your $100 that you deposited today will be worth $110. So how did we get the $110? Uh, we took the base amount, which is C4 times one plus the interest rate. So here's a one plus the interest rate. Now, the notion of the present value of money is the exact reverse of this, which is $110 one years from now is going to be worth how much today? So to calculate that, we divide $110, which is C5, by the one plus interest rate factor, and we get back the $100 um, that we originally started out with. In other words, this $100 is the present value of $110 one year from now at a 10% interest rate and equivalently uh, the $110 one year from now is the future value of $100 today at a 10% interest rate. Now I'm just going to write the same thing in a slightly different way. We're going to denote uh, today by year zero, um, one year from now by year one and two years from now by year two. And let us say uh, you're about to receive $110 one year from now. What is its present value today? The present value of $110 today is nothing but um, the 110 divided by one plus the interest rate, which is our $100, no surprise there. Now, what if you're about to get $121 two years from now? What is the present value of that? It is a similar formula with a slight change. Now, again, you need to divide $121, which is E10, by one plus the interest rate, but one plus the interest rate raised to the power two. A good way to think about this is to see that uh, you're trying to compute the wa value of your $121 uh, two years backwards. So for every year that you need to discount this, you need to divide the $121 by one plus the interest rate. Since you're discounting it for two years, you're dividing 121 by one plus the interest rate raised to the power two. 